Oh, Doctor, grab something to drink, sit back and enjoy because we got a ton of new Juicy Horizon here on the Frozen Wilds info about the max level increase, new weapons, skills and way more. This is what we have been waiting for, so if you like that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. I want to thank Geofunny for the heads up. He noted that there's a preview of the Frozen Wilds in the news issue of the game magazine Game Informer. I bought the issue on my phone and I will now share all the interesting things we learned from that article, but of course, toss them a few bucks if you want to read it for yourself and there are also some awesome screenshots in there that don't really show a lot but it's still cool to see. So let's start with the new abilities we will see in the Frozen Wilds. We will get two new skill lines in the DLC that will enhance and expand upon Aloy's power to override mechanical creatures. Two is pretty substantial. Right now we of course have three with 36 skills in total. So if the new skill line will be as huge as the one we have right now was not noted in the article. Personally I think that it will not be the case. 24 new skills seems a little bit too much but still two new skill lines sounds really awesome. One new skill was described in the article called the Mount Repair where we can heal a rideable ally creature. Of course great but let's hope for more exciting skills as well. Maybe one skill where we can get a companion machine that will just follow us around on the map and kill enemies as we want to maybe we can like give them commands something like that and a new ability that really falls in line with the focus on overriding mechanical creatures would be flying one of course right on a stormbird or maybe even a glint hawk the cut the new area in the frozen wilds will be a extension of the map that we have right now so when we hit the touchpad we will see the full new map so it will not be like a sort of island where we have to fast travel through with a loading screen. So then it would make sense that we can fly from the cut to Meridian for example because it's just one big map. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit too crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But with the focus on overriding mechanical creatures, I don't know, it makes sense. So of course new skills mean new skill points and that goes hand in hand with a level cap increase. In the Frozen Wilds the level cap will go from level 50 to level 60 so that means at least 10 new skills right? On the other hand we might of course also get new skill points from the main quest just like in the base game. So I think at least 10 new skills in the Frozen Wilds would make sense, probably more. It was not noted what happens to our ghost levels, of course the levels you can earn in the new game plus mode, a system that overtook the regular level system. Will they disappear? I don't know, because if you are like a ghost level 100, but you are still level 50, I it really a lot of questions, I really want to get the answer on that. Because we of course know that you can use your New Game Plus save in the Frozen Wilds. What I mentioned in my previous video about new Frozen Wilds info is that indeed the DLC will not be set after the ending, this is indeed true. In the Game Informer article it was noted that the new area opens up around half through the game. So my bet would be that if you are able to go to Meridian then the whole world map like kind of opens up, then you will be able to go to the cut as well via the entrance that I've of course showed in my video you can watch that by clicking on the screen even if you can access like the new area pretty early on in the game it will not be a walk in the park according to girl like games it is going to be a really challenging area but it was noted that it will be easier for players who play through a large portion of the game and have obtained better weapons and better armor so if you already finished the game got the shield weaver for example or are on new game plus got the adept weapons with four mod slots then it will be easier than people that don't have that. Quest and World Design Director David Ford did say though that it would still provide a challenge for even the most advanced players. Okay, okay, but if everyone that plays Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time can enter this DLC halfway through the game and it will still be like able to complete that, then I kind of wonder how the difficulty will be for people that like me that already spent 300 hours in the game. I first thought, okay, I will go for normal again, just like my first playthrough, but now it kind of sounds like if you are a veteran player, if you finish the New Game Plus mode on Ultra Hard or maybe even Hard or Very Hard, then I think you should go for a higher difficulty in the Frozen Wilds, from the sounds of this, of course. Still hard to say without having played it, but yeah, it kind of sounds like this will be the case. Then on to the new weapons, one of the things I'm most interested in alongside the new machine. So the new weapons should be inspired by the tribe's way of life. Of course the Banuk, the tribe where the DLC is centered around that, will use different weapons and looks like Aloy will be able to use them as well. Quote, they do behave differently than many of the weapons you have experienced before, but you will understand how they work as player who has played Horizon Zero Dawn before and they will fit neatly into your existing arsenal. 
arsenal, end quote. So this really sounds like some substantial new weapons. So maybe that sort of javelin we saw in the first trailer will be present in the Frozen Wilds. I can't wait to get them. And if you're saving up some shards to get the new weapons and a Manuk inspired new outfits, then you're out of luck because the new items can be bought with Blue Gleam and I hope I pronounced that right, and you get that from doing side quests or other things, and the side quest in particular should now give more substantial rewards than they did in the base game. And this sounds like a great improvement, where in the base game the rewards for side quests were pretty much useless, now they do reward you with more, for example the blue game that gets you the new armor and gear. I kinda already expected that they would go this way, because otherwise you can just save up a lot of shards, go into the first store you see, buy all the weapons, so this is a great system, really cool. While the article did not give us any new info on the new machines, it did note that there there will be new wildlife too and as many of you pointed out in the comments of my video where I broke down the new trailer we see a squirrel in the new trailer so there will be one of the new wildlife we will encounter in the DLC there will probably be more so yeah the frozen wilds will not continue the story after the ending sadly it should still be an interesting story though according to Guerrilla Games. It should preserve the integrity of Aloy's story so remain true to that while there are mysteries in the expansion that are compelling to her. So she will find paths to explore and some mysteries that she will find very compelling just like you the players according to the lead writer Ben McKay and I hope I pronounced that right. Interesting is that there is a better focus on the support characters. They want to make them more meaningful than the characters we meet in the main game. Guerrilla Games notes that they want to create deeper relationships between Aloy and the characters that she meets. Not only does this mean that you will run into the same characters more frequently during missions, but they will also occasionally join you in on an adventure and fight alongside you. Quote, you're going to be spending a lot of time with them and their impact is definitely going to be felt, end quote. Ooh. Sounds very awesome indeed and we of course already know who these characters are in real life. For example, Victoria Atkin, and I hope I pronounced her name right, who played Evie in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, will be one of the new characters you'll encounter as seen in the picture from the motion capture studio alongside the voice of Aloy, Ashley Birch. So probably a ton of other female characters will play a huge part in the Frozen Wilds. I'm really curious to see how they will handle this, but this is totally going to be something Horizon Zero Dawn needs. And I totally think that if this pans out, if the Funko Pops for Horizon Zero Dawn pan out as well, then we will get these characters as a Funko Pop as well. Lock it in, prediction, there we go. The article again mentions a sizable expansion and we already knew that Guerrilla Games also pushed it a lot. Looks like it's going to be more than 10 hours. Guerrilla Games mentioned that they worked hard on these expansions for months and months. This should not be just a quick effort to throw it out there after the game has shipped. This is something they thought of very carefully. And from the sounds of it, they really improved on some interesting parts on the game. Like these side quest rewards that should be more meaningful and the meaningful again character part. I really can't wait, still curious about the difficulty but again hard to make any conclusions when I haven't played it yet but we of course can just put it on ultra hard and go from there. Again all this info is from the preview from the November issue from Game Informer, totally check that out there are some screenshots they don't really show a lot but it's still cool to see Aloy there with a Banuk outfit, not a new one though and we also see a Snapma in one of the pictures that kind of confirms that they will be coming back as well. So it really looks like a lot of the main machines, so the Behemoth, the Thunderjaw, the Stormbird, the Glinthawk, we already saw them, the Tramplers will be back as well. So a lot of the main machines from the base game will be back in the Frozen Wilds, but we of course also know that there will be new machines, but they're really secretive about that. Hopefully we see some new gameplay against the new machine with some new weapons too, Really can't wait. I'm curious to hear what you think of the new DLC info. Of course, let me know in the comments down below. And when we know more, I will let you know. So when we see that new gameplay with the new machines, I will let you know as soon as possible, like I did with this video. And of course, also check out my recent videos where I discuss some other news regarding the Frozen Wilds and where I broke down the new trailer they released showing the new area called The Cut. Subscribe for everything Horizon Zero Dawn, like this video to support the channel, thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.